Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 10 on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch in the easiest way. Let's get started. All right, before we get started with the install, we do need to go through a few things and prepare the phone. I'll do this as quickly as possible. So first off, make sure your phone is plugged up to the charger. It could take a while depending on the device you're using and your internet connection. Second, we'll open up the settings application. We'll tap on general, and then we'll go ahead and tap on storage and iCloud usage. From here, you can check your storage. You wanna make sure you have some storage. I have 1.1 gigabytes and that should be enough. So make sure you have at least that. If you don't know how to remove storage or you're trying to figure it out, there's a link in the description as well as on screen that'll give you some tips and tricks on removing storage and freeing up space. Next, you wanna make sure your device is backed up. If you don't know how to back up your device, again, a link in the description as well as on screen that'll show you how to back up your device using iCloud or iTunes. And lastly, you wanna make sure your device can update to iOS 10 so you can see that on screen right now. Once you've made sure everything is okay, we can begin the install, open the settings application, tap on general, tap on software update, and it'll begin checking for updates. Once the update is found, you can read through it, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the download and install link. Tap on that, put in your passcode, and once you get to this screen, read through the terms, tap agree, tap agree again, and now it'll begin downloading and installing. Now while it's downloading, you can use your phone, but leave it plugged in as it could take a while. Depending on the device you're installing on and your internet connection, you can also see at the top here how much time you have remaining in the download and you can see I have about 10 minutes remaining. Once it's done, we can begin updating. So the download took a little bit longer than expected. It actually took 45 minutes for me for some reason. And once you're done, you just scroll down and tap install, put in your passcode, and then it'll verify the update. Once the update is verified, your device will restart similar to this right here. If it gets stuck on the verifying update section, just hold the home button and power button together until the phone turns off and back on and you can retry the same steps we just went through. Once you do get to this page here and it does start updating, don't unplug it, don't turn it off, just let it do its thing. Also keep in mind that your device will turn on and off a few times and you'll have to go through a few loading pages before it's actually installed. Once it is installed, go ahead and put in your passcode again. And basically you're just going to go through the initial setup of your device. You'll have some features here that you can read about. Just tap next. You can add a card if you'd like. We'll do this later. And finally, when you're done, tap get started and you're back on your phone. And now we can check what version of iOS we're using. So we'll go into the general section again. We'll tap on software update. And you can see we've got iOS 10.0.1 and that is the firmware that we're installing here. And one more thing, you can check out some of the new features here. So Control Center is now different. You can actually swipe across to the different pages. We've got widgets. There's a whole bunch of things with iOS 10. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing how they all work, as I'll be posting tons of videos on this. Also, if you ran into any issues, feel free to check out the links in the description. There's another version you can update using iTunes. You can check out that link there. It may work for you. And I find that it works a little bit better than over the air. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box and I'll see you guys in the next one.